to autonomy, it doesn't respect the autonomy of the, the things that it considers to be its territories, which, which it thinks somehow accidentally ended up being independent countries for however many years it is now. And, it, you know, I mean, is, it, it is, you know, trying to portray itself as some sort of victim when in fact it's the aggressor. And I don't, and I don't understand why that's happening. What are you doing? You know, there's so, there's so much else to do in the world. I, I thought things were getting better, you know, in terms of um, trade and diplomatic relations, you know, and just like the, and the, the sporting events that you've had. And it's like, it's like all of a sudden you're just trying, what, why are you doing this? You know, why don't, why don't you want to be a partner? Why do you feel like you have to be, you know, number one in the world? I will tell you, I think the United States is pretty much feeling like it's, it's not quite so much number one in the world anymore. And yet somehow we're dealing with it. You know what I mean? It's, it's not supposed to, I, I, I'm feeling like the way it's supposed to be, you know, among civilized nations is you're not striving for who's going to be number one in the world. You're striving for, you know, a real peace, which has nothing to do with repression, but has to do with like healthy individual independence um, and kind of interdependence. You're striving for making sure everybody has a place to live, making sure everybody has enough to eat. You're striving for, you know, like health care um, that even the poorest people can get um, and that they can get sort of, you know, continuously and all sorts of other things. So why, why it is that you are running, running into the last century you know, to try to try to find excuses for just bullying, bullying, and this this totally, this totally unnecessary aggression. I just don't know. I don't get that.